Good morning, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Happy Monday, I hope you had a lovely weekend. We are off this morning to forest school, which is why we're in the car. Oh it's always God. a really lovely way to start our week and yeah, we really enjoy it. So it's a little bit misty today, a little bit foggy, feels really wintry, so it should be a lovely one. Um, we just wrap up nice and warm, but we've got a really nice week planned um just the usual really but we're going to try and get our christmas decorations up which is exciting there's all boxes in the kitchen because we went and got them from my dad's house because he's been storing them for us and it's everywhere so i just want it up i, I want it all tidy want that. I don't, I want that. oh I want. and we've got gardening club later on in the week and yeah lots of lovely things so i really hope you enjoy this video Let's go to forest school. We've got to write a letter to Father Christmas. Oh yeah, we need to write our letter to Father Christmas when as well. When we get back. When we get back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's go. Go. had some lunch, Atlas has had a little nap and he's awake over there and we're doing some watercolours aren't we? <laughs> and then we're going to cut these pieces of paper into the shapes of Christmas trees and stick them on Christmas cards and make Christmas cards with them, aren't we? We need green today, yellow and blue to make Christmas tree colours and because I've it doesn't look very nice on camera. It's really, it's really nice colours in real that life. But one day, that one day. maybe we'll get another piece. That one again. Because we've pre-soaked the paper. It's like wet on wet water colouring, and it like bleeds into the paper really nice. So it just is nice and soft. Mummy, mummy. Yeah. That one. Either. Yeah, you can use whichever colours you want on your piece, darling. That one. Go on then. Just remember to wash your brush, that's it. So this box of Christmas stuff is the toys and books box. Wow! 
And these two little shelves here in the lounge usually have the boys' books on, so we're going to rotate them out for some Christmassy ones. Where's Harley? Where's Harley? Harley, where are you? Hello, Harlow. Harlow's missing. Come out. His legs. Harlow's broken. So this is the books that I've selected for down here. These ones at the top are ones that Atlas could like quite easily rip. This one's all about picking a Christmas tree and decorating it. It's really sweet. This one is about winter again really really lovely illustrations about the weather changing and this one is all about hibernation so it talks about like the animals and where they sleep in the cold weather and then these little ones are just like board books that atlas can flick through and have a little look We've got all of the seasons of these books. They're so lovely. They've got no words, but we spend ages like talking about what they're doing and all the different changes in the seasons and stuff like that. Those ones, I think I got these for Harlow's first Christmas. They're from the White Company. And again, they're like sparkly. And the pictures are just really, really sweet. And that one's sort of a similar one. And then this one is like the Dear Zoo book, but it's Dear Santa. And then in Harlow's room, hello, we've got these shelves, so I'm going to switch the books over on here as well. I've spent most of the afternoon sorting out these baskets with all our toys in and rotating toys and activities. And also moving, we had a little table over there in the corner and an also like a shelf that had their toys on. So I've moved that out of the way to clear space for the Christmas tree. So let me quickly show you what we've got in our baskets. So in here we've got, oh, it's not supposed to be in there, some play silks. We've just gone for reds and greens. These are so good for like all different types of play. We love these. In here, we've got his Christmassy figures, um, some lovely Holtz Tiger ones there, and then some Lankercade, like Christmassy ones. These are so cute. So we've got a few different ones in there. I like, seem to be everywhere. Then we've got some Christmassy teddies in here, and some loose parts. I've just picked out all like the reds and greens. So we've got the coins in there, and the rings, and all sorts. Then in this one, we've got his red truck and I will add some more like vehicles into there from upstairs and some balls. And then these blocks Atlas got for his birthday and some of these, they look orange, but they're actually red. Um, these are the ticket education ones. And then in this one is just Atlas's like rattles and teethers. And then this little basket lives over there on that um, like side unit on the bottom. There's a shelf. And I've just picked out all the like, bells. And these little shakers I thought looked quite festive as well. So it's about five o'clock now and I've got dinner on the hob. So while we're waiting for that, we're gonna put our Christmas tree up. And Harley's just bringing in some boxes for us. He's been desperate to do it all day. So yeah, he's really excited.
just dropped Arno at nursery and they've given me the sweetest little thing that he's made at nursery let me show you it's a little hedgehog he's made things like this at forest school before but this one is just extra extra cute so i'm gonna put him somewhere safe when we get home <gasps> i love him Hello, I thought I would just check in with you. It's half 11 and I'm just giving Atlas some lunch. He's got some pasta because he didn't nap very much this morning. He napped on the way home and usually I can move him into his bed and he sleeps for like an hour or two. Um, and this morning he woke straight up. So he'd had like maybe 20 minutes absolute maximum and he just decided that it was not for him. So he's not feeling, he's got pasta all over his sleep. He's not feeling his um, absolute best this morning. So. Food always helps, doesn't it? Um, I've just been doing like little niggly, li niggly jobs today, like having a look at some emails I needed to look at and Instagram stuff and that kind of thing. Um, so it doesn't feel like I've been that productive. Um, and he's been a little bit needier, so I haven't been able to actually get much done. Um, ah! Yeah, he's so talking about you. Um, I can't remember if I said, but I was meant to be going shopping this morning. I've got a few more Christmas bits to get. I've got some wrapping paper to get. Um, just bits and bobs, really. And I was going to go with my mum, but then plans changed. And I thought, you know what, I'll just go another day. I've got stuff to get done at home. So, yeah, it's really rainy as well. So we've had a nice morning at home, haven't we? I'll leave in about an hour to go and get Harlow and then this afternoon we're going to make mince pies and I'm really excited, we're going to try and decorate the Christmas tree as well um, maybe put on a little Christmas film, what do you think? Yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah um, Yeah, I like to get my decorations up really early but it also just takes so long like with, the, with the boys um, to try and get it all up and sorted and then tweaked and I like it to be like ready when December comes. I don't want to be stressing about it in December. Here you go. So that is our plan for this very rainy Tuesday. Uh -huh. Yeah. Atlas has had a little outfit change after his lunch. And these boxes are just full of Christmas stuff. Does anyone else get really stressed out when there's just boxes everywhere? I'm trying to ignore it, but it's the process, isn't it? When the decks are all looking all lovely, it'll be worth it. Wait a minute. Yeah. Where's the Christmas tree? That's right. Christmas tree. Christmas tree. <laughs> Open the door.
Porsche all over. So they're a little bit dark in places. They don't quite look like Jamie Oliver's did. I'm gonna give it another go with these little ones I've got left over, but I need to let these cool down first in the tray. And then you kind of just like snap them off and you've got your own little twist on a mince pie. So I'm really excited to try these. Oh, look at that on the inside. That looks lovely, doesn't it? Cheers. Pink, pink. Oh, that. yeah. That's yeah. lovely, that is. That room's lovely. Look at it. Good bake it. Good job for doing those. Look at that with you. Yes, well, I love you now. Mmm. Where is Daddy going? I feel so festive. Where is Daddy going? For me. Daddy. This is really nice because you get the layers of the puff pastry in the middle, Daddy. but it's not just solid mincemeat. If you don't love mincemeat, but you can like have a little bit. You could spread this as thin as you wanted and just have like a little bit here and there. You wouldn't have to have it really strong. Because sometimes I do love the deep filled mince pies, but they can be a bit sickly if you're not feeling it. That's lovely. Oh, mince pies are really Christmassy, aren't they? Mmm. Yummy. Is that nice, Atlas? Mm. Want some more? Mm. More. Mm. Red car and the blue car had a red. There is nothing this child doesn't like. Well, no, there is. No, actually, there is. What? I can't remember what it was. It was parsnips, but he ate one on Sunday. Well, just I need sprouts. 
Time to put our Christmas mulled wine. Little plug in him. I can't wait. Time to put the lights on the tree. Come here. Are you gonna help me? Yeah. I wanna help Daddy. Oh. Let me show you this morning what Harlow has got in his lunchbox. So these are little sweet potato oat bites and they're from, this is the recipe, J Wicks Wean in 15. I absolutely love this book. I got it when Harlow was little and they're really good for obviously weaning and for babies but also for like toddlers and even like adults. There's some really nice recipes in there. So he's got some of those. I got in the mince pies we made yesterday and some chocolate buttons. Some yoghurt in there and some raspberries and honey and chia seeds as well and then he's got some apple and some pepper i love this little lunchbox i've been looking everywhere for another one um i got this in like the back to school like offers but it's just so good so this morning <laughs> atlas has got berry porridge i've got granola yogurt and fruit and harley had some rice krispies with fruit as well mm. yummy Hello, happy Wednesday. Good afternoon. It's now quarter to one and I've come to get Harley from nursery. Me and my cousin this morning met at soft play and the boys had a lovely play and a jump around. We looked at the Christmas decorations in the garden centre and it was just really nice to catch up with her. So yeah, we've had a lovely morning. The plan for this afternoon is a pretty chilled one. Ash will be home around two o'clock and yeah, then we'll probably go for a little afternoon walk, maybe finish the decorations on the Christmas tree because it didn't quite get finished yesterday. We've got decorations to go on the tree in the kitchen and the garden to go up. So I'm slowly chipping away at little things. I've got loads of washing to put away as well. So it's just going to be like a homey afternoon. And then we've got 
a chicken pasta bake for dinner, which I'm actually really hungry. So I might have to have something when I get in, maybe a bit of toast or something. I'm gonna just slow down today and just really enjoy like playing with them and just having fun. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go and get him in a minute. No, I want that nursery. You didn't want that nursery? Did you have fun? What did you do today? What did you do? Playing doctors. Playing doctors? You didn't play it? Jim, when me, when, when me, then I did mommy dying. Oh. Is the home early? That's a nice surprise, isn't it? Wow, Daddy's home early. <laughs> wow, what treasures have we got in here? Oh, oh my God, I can't cope with these jumpers and these trousers that Harlow's got on. Atlas's though is like I've had to roll it over like three times so it's a bit big so I'm gonna get it in a smaller size thank you for Atlas so this is the next one stay still a minute and it's so cute Harley just tried it on as well but he's took it off quicker than I could film I really think that's so festive isn't it oh. This is the third one, and my idea was that I was going to choose between which one I liked the best. How am I supposed to choose? Oh no. <laughs> you shot him in there. Where's Harley? Big me. So we've assembled Harlow's tree, but I'm not happy with like the gaps. So I'm gonna try and find a garland to like wrap around. Ignore that big pile of books, they need to go away. But yeah, I will obviously get something to put on the bottom as well to hide the base and I'll move the lamp out of the way. But you see how it's just quite sparse in the middle? All the garlands I've got, I've got like snow on them. So I'm gonna see if I can find one cheap, just from somewhere like Asda to like fill those gaps. I think I'm gonna move that plant as well. I just think it's going to look so nice in that corner. I just think it's going to look really, really cute. Like a little Christmas jumper hanging on there. I might switch the rainbow out as well for something else. Like maybe some little Christmas decorations. And on here I might put some little Christmas decorations. They're just, I could just decorate the whole room. But um, I will just use what we've got. It's getting on now for like half three, coming up to four. And we usually go for our afternoon walk at like three o'clock. But... Harlow fell in his bedroom and cut his toe. I don't know what he cut it on. I think it might have been the radiator cover. He was really messing around, but he slipped. And then we saw a bit of blood on his duvet and I was like, where's that come from? And it was his toe. And he was really, really sensitive about it. And I cuddled him for like half an hour, just on the bed. And we got him a juice and we cleaned it up and put a plaster on it. But he doesn't want to go for a walk now. Ash was going to mow the grass, but it's just too wet outside. So he's aborted mission there. I'm probably going to put away a big pile of clothes, but I might get dinner on the go first. But tonight we've got a hunter's chicken pasta bake and I'm really excited for it. So I might go and make that now, maybe get it in the oven, get it ready and just potter around. Atlas is just playing. Made a right old mess. I don't know about anyone else, but I get the bedroom so tidy. And then this is, I know it's just, you know, it's only toys and bits of Christmas tree, but yeah, just pottering around this afternoon. He's so busy at the moment. <laughs> dinner Ash has just taken Harlow 
an atlas up for, well atlas up for a bath and oh, sorry you're still eating aren't you <laughs> and i thought i'd just show you the breakfast that i've done for atlas it's really easy it's just some overnight oats and he really likes this because sometimes on nursery mornings it's a little bit of a rush to make his porridge by the time it's cooled down or by the time he's eating it it can just be a little bit of a rush so i thought i would do this and then it's just ready to go he can eat this cold straight out of the fridge and it's just oats chia seeds he has oat milk and i've sliced up a banana in there put some frozen raspberries and strawberries and blueberries and i would give this a bit of a mash in the morning obviously like the bigger blueberries but they should be defrosted by then and you could put in here like raisins you could put crazy carrot you could put uh, like instead of the berries you could put some flaked almonds some nut butter like peanut butter or almond butter anything like that anything you want really and it's just so easy